Hi and welcome to another lesson on linear programming. Today we're going to look at formulating restraints. Let's just get a quick overview of what is linear programming again. Well, linear programming is when I am producing two products usually and I want to get the optimal result in producing these two products. In other words, how many of the one must I make and how many of the other one must I make? Now I'm going to call the one X and the other one Y. So we have X and we are going to have Y. These are the number of each quantity. So X represents the number of the one and Y represents the number of the other. Okay. Now when it comes to restraints, restraints refer to what is limiting me. Why can't I just make a billion of the one and a billion of the other one? Well, obviously I'm limited by resources. If I want to do something, I have limited resources. Now resources can be anything from money to time and actually many other things. But we'll focus on money and time for now. Now when I have limited resources, it means that I can't make infinite number of X and infinite number of Y's. And it depends on how much I'm going to use. How much money does it cost me to make one X? And how much money is it going to cost me to make one Y? And because of that, our restraint as an inequality looks like this. Now looking at this inequality, you will notice we have our X and Y. But we also now have a coefficient for each one of those. Now what MX and MY is, is I call them multipliers. And the multipliers simply refer, let me type it, the multipliers refers to how much of the resource will one unit use. How much of the resource will one unit use? So, for example, I might use um, 10 Rand to produce one unit of X, whatever X is. Let's say X is shirts. It cost me 10 Rand to produce one shirt. So then the multiplier for the amount of money I use is 10 X. And let's say I'm making buttons with the shirt and each button costs me 50 cents. So I'll have 0, 0,5 for the coefficient of Y, if Y represented the buttons. We'll do a few examples, actually just now. Let's just look at the rest. The next is our limit. Okay, Our limit, that's the L. The limit, that's now the L, refers to how much of the resource we have available. Okay, it's limited. We don't have infinite amount of money. Okay, I think with that in mind, let's do a few examples. Here's an example, and just to tell you uh, already that there are other restraints in here as well. Not all of them are resource restraints, but we're going to find the resource one just now. Let's read it. A clothing company manufactures white shirts and grey trousers for schools. A minimum, a minimum of 200 shirts must be manufactured daily. In total, not more than 600 pieces of clothing can be manufactured. It takes 50 machine minutes to manufacture the shirts and 100 machine minutes to manufacture a pair of trousers. There are at most 45,000 machine minutes available per day. It, the number of white shirts be X and the number of grey trousers be Y. Now looking at this, I hope you can see that our uh, limited resource in this case is time. Machine minutes. Okay, We have machine minutes are limited and there we go, we only have 45,000 machine limits available. There's no money involved in this case or any other limited resource that we're talking about. So let's just look at that one. In this one, we notice that our limit, our limited resource 
it is machine minutes and we have 45,000 minutes available for one day. Okay, the next thing we look at is how much does it take to produce one unit of X? That will be our MX. MX, okay, X is the number of shirts and it takes 50 machine minutes to manufacture a shirt. So the multiplier for X is 50. How about the multiplier for Y? It takes 100 machine minutes to manufacture a pair of trousers. So the multiplier is 100. Putting this together, we now see that we have 50X plus 100Y must be less than or equal to my limit, 45,000. Now let me just quickly go through it and I'm sure you will understand. For every X that I make, I have to multiply it with 50 because it takes 50 machine minutes to make that X. For every Y I make, I must multiply it with 100. So if I make two trousers, it will take me 200 minutes. If I make five shirts, it would be five times 50. That would be 250 minutes. And when I add this together, it must be less than or equal to 45,000 because I only have 45,000 available for that day. Do you get it? Okay, wonderful. Let's continue with the other type of restraints that I get. 